Good morning, this is a short screencast explaining how you can manage your categories in relation to your Shopify navigation. Here you'll see at the top of the page I'm using my main menu here to highlight the most interesting areas of my site and I've set up a bunch of products and collections. It, currently the top level category is set up as top level, meaning that all of my Shopify navigation is in the category list. Now there are downsides to this. So if I um, have this kind of setup, it means that my breadcrumbs are going to contain elements that maybe I don't want them to. For example, well, for example, because the top level is up here at the top level, um, it's going to include a main menu. So if I show you, for example, the photography collection, you can see that the breadcrumb actually says home main menu photography. Now that's not really the customer experience I want to go for here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to select the main menu as the top level category. And what we're going to see is that means that it disappears. So if I select main menu, it will re-render the category list. And instead of photography being nested inside main menu, we're going to see photography as one of the first level categories. Photography, technology, film and TV, they're all my first level categories because my top level category is now being set as main menu. If I go back to the photography collection now, refresh the page, this breadcrumb is going to change. It's going to change from being home main menu photography to being home photography. Now this is very consistent and it means that as I browse around the site, I'm able to show collections that are very well aligned with this, um, this top navigation. If I go to the technology section, for example, I'm in technology. If I go for into um, one of the subcategories within technology, perhaps by clicking here, mobile phones, um, then I can go into the mobile phones. And now we see we're in home technology mobile phones. Now these are all um, uh, available. I get there are loads of different ways I can organize these collections and no way is right or wrong. But there is a real advantage to having a navigation that is consistent with the way my um, breadcrumbs look. Now there are special cases and it might be that you want to organize your breadcrumbs differently from this. I would emphasize it's a special case. It's not the way that this happens all the time, but it does give you more control. When I go into the app, I can select potentially any item in here as being the top level and that allows me to affect the current category list and by that affect the breadcrumbs that it produces. If I go into Shopify navigation, I'm going to create a new menu. I would emphasize this is a special case, but I'm going to de demonstrate it for customers who want to have a custom uh, setup. So my menu menu is going to be called categories and in here I'm going to refer to the um, first level items. So if my site was actually um, uh, really just about selling a few basic things and while I had this navigation at the top that showed a different picture, what I really wanted to focus on was cameras, laptops and tablets, then I can create a menu structure that just focuses on cameras, laptops and tablets. So if I create a menu item here called cameras, uh, and if I click in here, cameras is a collection. So I'm going to search in my collections and find cameras. That's that. Add. I'm then going to create another menu item for laptops. And you guessed it, collections. And then I'm going to select from this list my laptops collection. And finally, tablets. So add another menu item tablets. Oops. And you notice I accidentally got capital letters there. It's really important that these texts are exactly the same as the corresponding menu item in the other menu. Otherwise, we won't be able to create the link in Shopify. But I'm going to show that link in a second. So go into collections and I'll select my tablets collection. Great. So I've made this new menu called categories. And this new menu contains cameras, laptops, and tablets. And it's crucial, as I said, that this matches precisely with the other menu items that I want to link to. I want to be able to take um, the cameras collection, for example. I want to be able to take the tablets collection, for example. And I uh, want to be able to take the laptops collection. I'm also going to add mobile phones in there. Let's say that mobile phones are an important part of this too, because that way I can show some nesting. So I'll go back in here. I'll add another menu item, mobile phones, and I will look in the collections and just select mobile phones. 
Again, you'll notice that the way I've capitalized this, there's no spaces before or after it. Everything is exactly the same as the, sorry, um, as the uh, existing menu item that I want to match because what I'm going to rely on here is a feature of Shopify navigation that allows us to match menu items with um, menu uh, titles in another menu. So if I save my menu now, I've created my categories collection. Now cameras, laptops and tablets are all example of categories that don't contain any subcategories, but mobile phones does. Mobile phones contains a few subcategories, smartphones, feature phones, and smartwatches. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new category tree. Cameras, laptops, and tablets will all be leaf nodes. There won't be anything underneath them. But mobile phones, because the text is exactly the same, same capitalization, same spacing, everything, exactly the same as the mobile phones entry in the other menu. When I go back in here and I refresh my category list, I can choose my category top level as being um, not main menu, but instead the categories menu that I've just created. Now the advantage of this is that it fundamentally changes the look of this. So we're gonna see a very different picture in here because categories are going to appear differently. So because I only added those very select list of um, categories into this categories menu, I'm now able to put this um, to have a much smaller category list. Now the important thing to notice here is that because I've restricted this category list, any other collection that sits outside of this menu will be ignored. It won't feature in my breadcrumbs at all, which means that if we go to a collection page that's not included in this list, it won't be able to generate a dynamic um, fully fledged um, breadcrumb. But because we've made these changes, it does mean that I can now see a difference. So if I go to the mobile phones collection, where before mobile phones sat inside technology, if I refresh this now, mobile phones now sits directly under home. And that's because here in the modified category list, this new category tree I've created, mobile phones sits as a first level category underneath our top level category. Looking then at another example, I can go and look at smartphones. Smartphones should feature underneath mobile phones, which again should be um, a first level category. So if I click on the smartphones link, I can now see that the smartphones sit inside mobile phones, which sit inside home. The crucial thing to remember here is that because we have changed the category list and excluded deliberately a whole load of other categories, the breadcrumbs that show up on those pages won't be whole. So if I go to the film and TV section, for example, it just guesses at, um, at what the breadcrumb should be and it can't find any of the subcategories. That's why this is a specialized case. It's for customers that know that for some reason they want to manage their categories menu separately from all of their other menus. It's not a usual case, but it can be done and it does give you this freedom. I know that for my store, that's not the right thing to do. So I'm gonna go back to having the main menu as my category list. That's just gonna refresh now. And as that refreshes, we're gonna see all of the categories and subcategories in there, which means that when I go back to a category that was previously excluded, like film and TV, I can refresh it now and we get the subcategories because film and TV is identified. If I go into the DVD subcategory, I've now got home, film and TV, DVD. So all of this stuff fits together. That's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope this will give you a picture of what your options are. This is a specialized option that allows you to manage parts of your navigation as your category hierarchy, and you can control what goes into it by using a dedicated um, categories menu. You can have any level of control in here, so you can put items, uh, you can put items from all over the place into this list. But the point I've made several times, and I would make again, is think very carefully about the relationship you're setting up between your store's navigation and your category hierarchy. Really, they should be almost identical, if not precisely identical, the same menu, because that way you're giving your customers the most consistent feel of the uh, of the navigation overall. Thanks for your attention and uh, best of luck with your store.